Ralph Simmons. This wreck lies east northeast of Two Rivers Point, Wisconsin. The three masted schooner, Ralph Simmons, 124 by 28 by 9, launched at Milwaukee in August 1868, is the famous Christmas tree ship. So named because her final runs of each season traditionally consisted of northern Michigan evergreen trees packed into her holds and on deck for the Christmas Chicago market. She was carrying just such a cargo when she foundered in a fierce blizzard off Kewanee, Wisconsin, on November 23, 1912. All 16 people on board perished. This wreck, upright and intact, was located by Kent Bell Richard in October 1971. Many needleless evergreen trees remain in position in her hold. Mass stumps about 10 feet tall remain on deck, and rails around the ship remain intact. November 25, the Ralph Simmons departed Thompson Harbor between Point Aubrokes in Manistique in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The barometer was falling as Captain Shinneman entered the open water. The crew and ten lumberjacks brought on board to fell Christmas trees watched from inside the cabin as snow danced through the rigging. Those on duty pulled up their collars up against a wind that blew with increasing strength. The spray of rising seas lashed the Christmas trees on deck. There was nothing the crew could do as their cargo froze beneath a layer of ice. There was concern because any shifting of the frozen cargo would spell disaster. Struggling along the eastern shore of the Door Peninsula, the Rouse Simmons was spotted by a tug and the brig Dutch Boy sometime between November 25 and 26. Captain Schooneman raised the distress flags. The following day, the Sturgeon Bay Coast Guard Station observed the Rouse Simmons. The Simmons was spotted once again, this final time by the United States Life Saving Station at Two Rivers. Fighting the lake in a driving blizzard, the Simmons continued on, the distress flags still visible and tattered sails whipping in the wind. The Rouse Simmons refused to surrender without a battle of epic proportions. The revenue marine boat Tuscarora was sent from Two Rivers Life Saving Station to aid the Rouse Simmons. The little power boat and its crew fought the raging seas, steering the Tuscora directly for the Simmons. The crew of the small craft tried to keep the stricken schooner in sight. The snow closed in a final time on the Rouse Simmons, vanished from view. Unable to forego on, the Tuscarora returned to its dock. It was a valiant effort, doomed to failure. Lost from sight of land, the Rouse Simmons slipped beneath the waves. Both the Simmons and the S. Thal 
each with a load of Christmas trees, were at the bottom of the lake. August and his brother Herman were reunited. Later, after the storm had ravaged Lake Michigan, a bottle washed up on shore near Sheboygan. Inside was a simple message. Penned in Captain Herman Schumann's own hand, the message read, Friday. Everybody, goodbye. I guess we're all through. She washed over our deck load Thursday. During the night, a small boat was washed over. Ingvald and Steve fell overboard Thursday. God help us. Herman Schunemann. The story of the Ralph Simmons refuses to end. When it sank, the ice-covered schooner went down with 17 crew members and a load of 5,000 or more trees. The following year, fishermen from two rivers brought up numerous trees from the bottom of the lake in their nets. This problem continued for the next 25 years, following each storm strong enough to stir the lake bottom. In 1925, 13 years after the sinking of the Ralph Simmons, Captain Schunemann's oilskin wallet washed up at two rivers. In 1934, the three daughters of Captain Herman Schunemann opened a store on the north side of Chicago where they sold Christmas trees and wreaths. The store's name was Captain and Mrs. Schunemann's Daughters. For older Chicagoans, the name brought back fond memories. The Christmas tree ship remained lost until 1971 when the Rouse Simmons was discovered by a diver. Two evergreens were removed from a hold still of Christmas trees meant for the Chicago market 59 years previously. One of the trees was placed in the Marine National Exchange Bank. The Ralph Simmons anchor has found a permanent mooring outside the Milwaukee Yacht Club. In addition to these two trees, a china bowl and a hand-cranked foghorn were recovered. The Ralph Simmons rests in 180 feet of water off Raleigh Point.